Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is August 11th, 2024. This is a follow-up short video to a video I posted yesterday on what the best exercises are for longevity. And it pertains to metabolic equivalents. Okay, METS. This is my opinion, but it's really based on facts. Okay, people like Jack Lane and all other people that used exercise to live longer, they didn't do it right. Because weightlifting and calisthenics do not fall under the criteria of 10 or more METS for men. You need to do exercises that equal 10 or more every day. Every day. Weightlifting and, and calisthenics do not fall under this. So all the exercises Jack Lane was doing, he was not hitting the 10 or more METS. He's not the only one. You got these long distance runners that live into the 80s and 90s. Again, they don't meet the criteria for METS. People that work out with weights all their lives, they still die at an ordinary age. So people are saying, scientists are saying, and people on YouTube are saying that exercise doesn't help you live longer. No, exercise does help you live longer. You just have to do the right kind of exercise. And you have to, because you have to do ones that equal 10 or more METS. And if you're a woman, it's nine or more METS. No one does this because, I mean, they do them in their early age, some people, but when you get older, you lose the exercise capacity. You lose it. Your body gets weaker, so therefore it just jogs, rides a bike, regular pace for an hour, goes to the you go to the gym to work out with weights. That doesn't hit the 10 METS. That's the problem. So now, I'm gonna show you, I, I mean, I do this every day. I do 40 minutes of this every day, not straight. You don't have to do it straight. You can do 20 minutes and 20 minutes. I'm gonna do an exercise right now, high intensity interval training that hits more than 10 METS. I'm not sure what it is, I think it's 11, but it hits it hits 10 METS. That's just one exercise I do. I do many of them that hit the 10 METS. So let's get going. I'm gonna screen record the runs. August 11, 2024, I am wearing some one kilo ankle weights. So that comes out to about five pounds I'm extra on my, on my body. I'm gonna do some hit, about 30 second sprint. Then I'm gonna rest for about two, two and a half minutes to replenish my ATP because that's how long it takes to replenish your ATP. And I'm gonna do 10 sets of those. This will hit the 10 met or more that you need to do every day. I do about 40 minutes. I don't do 40 minutes all at once. I split it up, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. You don't have to do it all at once. Anyway, let me get going. I'm gonna screen record this so you can see this, okay? There we go. And we're starting. First one. Now I rest for about two minutes. Let's go to the second one. That's the second one. This is the third run. So here we go. the third one this is my fourth run I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little so here we go 
That was the fourth. Fifth run is coming up. As you can see, I'm still wearing the ankle weights. Let me show you something. It makes it so much more difficult, the ankle weights. I feel so heavy. Anyway, it's my fifth run. Here we go. Coming up, remember August 11, 2024, it is 30 degrees in Germany, which is about 90 degrees, pure sun, no shade, it's hot, I love this, anyway, this is my sixth run, and I'm going to be honest with you, those ankle weights, oh my god, they make you feel like you're carrying 100 pounds when you're running, and sprinting, so here we go, sixth run. Let's go, baby. Six one. Seven, coming up. Okay, my rest is up. This is my seventh run. Let's go. Seventh, eight coming up. This is the eighth run. If you notice on the screen, it says average pace is dropping. That means I'm going faster as I go along. So this is my eighth run. Let's see if I can get it under six minutes. It's these ankle weights that really make it difficult, man. You see them? One kilo each leg. So here we go. 30 seconds, the eighth run. Eight, nine coming up. It is boiling hot and I feel heavy with these ankle weights. Ninth run. I'm gonna try to drop the pace to under six minutes. It's so hard with these ankle weights. Here we go, ninth run. Ninth, last one coming up. If you stuck up to here, thank you very much. As you can see, my pace on the screen there has picked up from over six, now it's under six. That means I'm doing faster as I went along. That's what I'm looking for. Ladies and gentlemen,
Let's go, my tent. It's these freaking ankle weights. You see them? They are so hurting. Here we go, tent and final one. On the, on the 558 pace, let's go. Let's go, baby. Feel heavy. Oh, I missed my one. That was the tenth one. Everyone, I want to give some closing words. If you stuck around and watched the whole thing, thank you very much. But this is just one of my routines I do to have higher met score. Okay, as you can see, I wore these these ankle weights. It's one kilo, 2.2, 2.0, almost five pounds. I was sprinting with it 10 times. With two minute rest, two and a half minute rest, my total workout was about 25 minutes. Now I gotta go do some incline sprints for about 15 minutes, not at a fast pace, you don't have to. Not fast, two, three miles per hour. That also hits over 10 in the med score. Remember, you need to do exercises that hit above 10 for men in METs, metabolic equivalents, and over nine for women, metabolic equivalents. And these have to be done for life or for as long as you can do them. I'm sorry to say this, Jack Lane and others don't do this, did not do these. All they did was lift weights, calisthenics, swim, ride a bike. It doesn't hit over 10. So when they say exercise won't help you live longer, you're right. If you do exercise only, hits below 10, you're right. It reduces lifespan. It increases all-cause mortality. I encourage you to include every day. Check out my video. It explains three different exercise routines for an hour, an hour and a half, or two hours per day. Have a great day. I hope this information helps you. This is just one of my workouts. I feel fantastic. August 11, 2024. See you soon.